Major improvements coming to a stadium on the eastern shore just in time for high school football games this week. The city of Fairhope spending half a million dollars to have Majors Field ADA compliant. And as WKRG News 5's Blake Brown shows us, these renovations will allow easier access for all visitors. Battling the heat and a tight deadline, crews are giving Fairhope Municipal Stadium and Majors Field a serious upgrade. We had it in the budget and just something that we really need to do to make that um, stadium, the stadium handicap accessible, at least on the home side for right now. At a cost of about $500,000, the stadium will now be compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act. This includes added handicap ramps and a platform area to watch from, allowing everyone the opportunity to attend a game at the stadium. So people in a wheelchair, walker, or if you just need that extra support of a handrail, that you have that and you have a seating area. Right now, Majors Field is the primary home for Fairhope High School football and St. Michael Catholic High School football games. You know, the, the Fairhope tradition of being there and, you know, seeing the football players run out on the field and now just to make these improvements, I think, you know, it just continues that tradition of providing these facilities to the Fairhope schools and just, you know, being there with the, the fans to, to support the high school and the football players. It's taken months to get to this point. Crews are working to get this completed by Thursday night. That's the first home game for St. Michael's. The Fairhope Pirates will hit the field this week, too, on Friday night. Visitors will notice a new video jumbotron this week paid for by sponsors. You know, having a video board is something that the other schools here along the Eastern Shore have had, and this will have our first one, so really excited about that as well. The visitors' side of the stadium could also see upgrades in the future. In Fairhope, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.